All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is my 1996 Arima Sea Chaser, 16 foot. I've owned this boat for eight years. I'm the second owner of it. I've done a lot of upgrades since buying this boat. Made this boat an awesome fishing boat, capable of going to Catalina, no problem. You should pick and choose your days. Let's start off with the trailer. First, this is a winch stand. This has actually been upgraded some. I went to Pacific Trailer and got a new winch stand here. This one's actually taller. The one that was originally on here was too short. So now this sits perfectly where it's supposed to. I added the winch step, winch stand step. Makes retrieving and launching this boat really easy when you wanna get up on the bow and walk down to the trailer. Also comes with a Fulton trailer jack. Trailer has been completely rewired, has LED lights. Comes with a spare prop. This is a brand new three blade prop. Fit perfectly for the motor that's on here. This is a Pacific trailer. It all has brand new brackets that I installed less than two years ago. All the old ones are rusted, so that all got replaced and these new ones put in. These are really nice ones. See the right here, that is the kicker bracket that's also included in the boat. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Comes with some fairly new trailer tires. Still a lot of tread left on these tires, as you can see. Also has the buddy bearings. Let's go back and show you the LED lights. And here are those LED lights I told you about. Those are brand new. Had the old incandescent ones in there. It has the trailer lights along here too, also on the side. Okay, so let's start the tour here. So, the originally this boat had a black stripe that ran, actually a blue stripe that ran down the whole entire length of the boat. That's been taken off and then polished up so that way it is now gone. These are actually snaps for a cover that I never had, but I left them on there in case one day I decide to get an entire boat cover. It'd be nice to have them. Comes with a stainless steel cleats. And like I said, this is a 96 Arima Sea Chaser, 16 foot. Does have the updated hull, so it keeps you dry when in rougher seas, keeps that splash down. Over here is a brand new four foot long Shakespeare and VHF antenna on the stainless steel mount. Also comes with on both sides of the boat, starboard and port, two rod holders and has these nice little lanyards to make sure that if you're Fishing rods fall in the ocean, you don't lose them. As you can see here, this one and that one there, those that's where you attach the arch. And you can remove one, and then this the arch will fold down and lay on top of the bow. It pretty much lays on the rails. So that way you can easily transport it. This here is the plug that goes onto the arch to power the two LED lights that are on it. I just need to connect the wire to that, but then that plug will separate. So when you lay it down, it doesn't pull the wires out. As you can see here, it has two mounts, one forward, one back. And the reason for that is for the bimini top. This one here is the original one. So when the top is up, kind of sits a little further back. This here is one that I added, so that way the top sits a little more forward and covers the cabin a little better. Plus that just gives you a little bit more space on the deck without bumping your head on the top. Continuing down, this is one of the holders that you can put the rod holder in. Over here is for the Scotty Trapeze um, pulley that I use for lobster fishing. I also can use it for crabbing as well. It makes pulling in those pots and 
the hoops a lot easier. Has some more gunnel mount rod holders in the back here. Great for trolling. Again, stainless steel cleats. These are the upgrades that Arima did later on. On here are the updated and more of a custom color Arima logo that I did. A local shop print these up for me. Been on the boat now for going on three years. And then I have a custom logo up in the front for the model. This is one that I came up with my own style of font and redid it. Officially the boat is called a 1511, but it's 16 feet. And let's go check out the motor. The boat is powered by a 2019 Suzuki DF60 AV outboard motor. This has the larger gear case to spin a larger prop. The prop that is on there is a four blade prop. It's actually been professionally detuned for the motor to be able to give you the all the benefits of a four blade prop and the more wide open throttle speed of a three blade prop. So with this one on here, you get the added benefits of both props. And like I said, this was professionally detuned at Wilmington Propeller. Like I said, it has a larger gear case. This motor was designed to be able to move pontoon boats, which is a perfect motor for these Arima boats that usually are stern heavy. This motor has less than 100 hours on it. Also has the Lenco electric trim tabs. As you can see here and over here. That's the transducer for the Garmin chart plotter, 74 CV Echo Map Plus, and the touch screen. Over here is the bait pump for the bait tank. It's a 500 uh, GPH pump with the, the rule transom mount on here as well. The hose goes up here and is connected through a stainless steel through hole that goes inside the boat to be able to feed water to your tank. This is the outflow hose for the tank. It is removable, so if you don't feel like having a hose in there for a time period, you can easily take that deck lid out and replace it with another deck lid, and that way you don't have the hose back in here. This here is where you fill up the fuel, and that's the vent for the fuel. Right here is the wires that go to the pump. Back here is where the kicker goes on. It's the bracket that holds it, trailer ties. Also, brand new bilge drain that's been installed. Like I said, I've done a lot of work on this boat. This boat is a solid boat. Let's go check out the inside. Okay, starting at the stern. This is the view back here at the two cup holders, starboard factory panels, meaning that these were made at the factory, with the exception of that extra hole that I'll talk about in a second. You have storage boxes on each side here, one here, one here. I installed these stainless steel latches, which is really nice to have. You put a lock in there and lock it all up if you want to put something valuable in there. Here is your fenders and dock lines. And coming on this side is the other storage. This one's just empty. And let's take a look inside here. This is where the battery and battery switch and everything else is. So as you can see here, this is the battery. Back here is the negative bus bar with the battery switch. It's a three position, so that way you can have two batteries. Also, back in there is the circuit breaker. Right over here, that wire you see right there in the center, that's for the water winch float switch, which is really nice to have. This here is the water winch alarm. 
So if you start getting water inside the bilge, that will sound to let you know. And looking here, removing this panel, this is for the bait tank. That's where you would connect it up to your bait tank. That's the outflow hose. Of course, the water fuel separator, some lasting straps to hold in the fuel tank, brand new main fuel line with the fuel vent hose. That is the fuel tank sending unit. I'll take you on to the next side. This is the other side here. These are the water intake hose for the bay tank. There's two pieces. You have a ball valve right there to be able to turn the water on and off. So you don't have to worry about flooding or anything like that. And then we have up here is the through hole. I showed you earlier the water comes in that's just a drainage hose for the storage box above of course that's where a second battery would be sitting okay so right here is the fish hold it's a big fish hold as you can see inside here is a boarding ladder that's your access plate for the bilge pump and also where the water winch is behind there. There's the bilge pump, kind of hard to see also, but the water winch is sitting right next to it, inside here. Okay, and then right here, this is another little storage area. This is more of a like ice box that you can put drinks or whatever. If you want to put them in the floor, you can. Holds the ice. And again, another little drain hole in there to be able to drain whatever water you have into the bilge. These are the Tempress and Navi style high back seats, as you can see, both sides. They're just a couple years old. Reupholstered seat cushion back here. Inside here is your storage for anchor or whatever you want to put in there. Here are the pockets on both sides with the Suzuki controls right here. This here is the four panel switch. So this one here controls the deck lights. I'll show you in a minute. This one here is your navigation lights, your bilge pump auto on off, and this is your bait tank. Right here is a fuel gauge and the horn button. Over here is an accessories panel. You have this button here, which will turn on and off the lights on the arch, 12 volt socket, and two USB ports along with the voltmeter. This is your microphone for the standard Horizon GX2000 uh, VHF radio, which is also connected to an AIS, which I'll show you in a minute. And that is also connected, the AIS, to the Garmin 74CV Echo Mech Plus. Over on this side, nice little shelf with a cup holder. And then going in here, take inside the cutty. It's a nice size cutty, great for storage. But the chart plotter is right in here see that right there and then we come around there is the fuse panel as you can see all the wires have been labeled so you know which where they go to this is the AIS unit this here is the splitter for the AIS and the antenna it also can be hooked up to if you have an AM FM radio you can connect that as well so it uses the VHF antenna for all of its things as you can see the wiring I have done yeah. using all marine wiring. So that means that all these wires are tin, they're not copper like in the majority of boats. The wires go for there that basically go to the dome light and the nap, the um, bow light and to the deck lights as well. Underneath here is just more storage. You can put a porta potty in here if you choose. And then you can close this up as well. Comes with a fire extinguisher. What you have here is a walkthrough window for easy access up onto the bow. New bow roller up in the front there, stainless steel. A grab handle, of course. And I'll give you a view of the 
deck space here. And this is the deck space. A lot of deck space, 107 inches from the door to the back panel right here. Here's another view of the deck from behind here. As you can see, a lot of deck space. Easily fish two people in here. Three's a little cramped, but still able to do so.